I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Oh, Jeff, do you smell that? Nonsense? Yeah, I do. It's winter. Other people would call it bull No, it's it's actually chilliness. It's coldness. It's it winter. Is, it is. Winter is here. Winter has, is not coming, friends. It is here. Welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and me sitting through Jamie's nonsense. And look at our winter sweaters. It's perfect for this video because today's video is a classic seasonal recommendation video. And we all know the season has changed. Winter is upon us. It is here. It's been snowing. It's been cold. It's been gross. You love to see it. You love These to are the see videos it. where I just sit and listen. Yeah, Jeff doesn't know what's happening. For anybody that hasn't watched any of our previous seasonal recommendation videos, uh, this is a video where I will give you some amazing recommendations of That's board games debate. that um, you should play in the winter, okay? And everything's gonna Debatable. have its reason. Debatable. Um, and so realistically, we're just going to... I don't know how you consistently stay this ridiculous with these things. like. Consistency's never been my problem. <laughs> Let's just dive into it. Let's dive into the metaphorical pile of fluffy white snow. I was going to say bull <laughs> No, wrong. Okay, let's start off with a low ball. Jeff, where do we live? Canada. Bigger. Earth. Earth is the first recommendation. Do you want to know why? Okay, so my first recommendation is Earth. Okay. Because Earth is a place where winter happens. That's true. This That's... is granular. Now, for anybody, no, not that... it's the opposite. It's, it's megular. It's opposite of granular. What's opposite of granular? <laughs> Grandiose, maybe. Grandiose. I don't think that's the right. Delusions of grandiose. Delusions of grandiose. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's for sure what so is happening. So Earth is how would you describe it? Like a tableau builder essentially. It's exactly a tableau board. And it, it has like all of these cards of all of these things in earth. Some of them oh. are different like places and terrains and some of them show snow. And we all know that snow happens in the winter most often times, right? So my first game recommendation is going to be earth. It is a super fun tableau builder. It has a ton of variety, just like winter. It's always throwing snowballs at you. You're ya. actually not starting off super crazy. Right? Is... I think Earth is a good recommendation. And it's kind of like, it's almost like a cozy kind of game. Because you can play it solo if you want. It is, yeah, it you is You can kinda... go all over the world. You can find, you can like kinda find the thing. snow on the cards. You can make a separate game where you're like, where are the flakes at? I'm only going to put snow cards on my Earth. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Okay. You probably wouldn't do super well, but... Oh, you, you might. Could try. What if that's one of your goals? Okay, Jeff, did you know no, I didn't. that during winter we celebrate holidays? Yep. And during sure. the holidays, people come over. Not here, but sure. Well, we're having people over yeah. to play Game of Thrones. That's kind of rare for which us. Which made the short list, but didn't quite make the list. I'm going to recommend Bad Company. <laughs> okay, because sometimes during the winter... You have company over that you don't always want over. And I would say so majority of the time. So they're bad company. Okay. They are bad company. I was between this and awkward guests, but I'm know. getting what you're throwing down okay. right now. So bad company. Awkward guests. <laughs> right. But we've talked about that. That a lot. one's funnier, so it makes sense you didn't pick it. Exactly. So bad company is going to be my recommendation. Now in bad company, you are essentially like a a thief. You're like stealing different things like jewelry and Oh, well, you're a group stuff. of thieves. You're a group of thieves. You're in bad company. And you are going around the board and you are trying to be the best thieves by stealing stuff. It's been a while since we played it. Well, I mean, you like upgrade your person. You upgrade your person. They can get like different abilities and stuff. And they can you get roll a abilities. dice and it, it's like space base. It's like space you roll, base. You roll a dice. Oh, that's right. It's like space base. And then you base. activate your different heist. They, people, they all have different specialties. And, 
everything in. Jeff's got a be better memory for most games. I do, actually, which is just, very shocking to me. I just have a good sense of when you should play the games. And <laughs> winter is when you should play Bad Company. Uh, okay. Yeah. So the next one, I think, I now I really do want to give you a low ball. Okay? You said the first one was a low ball. I think they all are. But this one's like, if you're not talking about this game, are you even talking about winter? What's one thing that I feel about winter in Canada? What is it? It is... Cold. It just never... Ends. Yeah, it's an endless winter. Mm -hmm. This is a winter game. You the actually entire, picked a winter game. I did. Endless winter is... First of all, we got all of it. You don't need all of it. But it is this like huge box game where the entire thing is set in the winter. <laughs> and you are playing as like Neanderthals. What's happening here? And like the whole theme is winter. And Why'd it's endless. Pick? Well, because, Jeff, I just wish winter would end. But it is endless. But that's, you never do this. Sometimes I like to throw in good ones every now and then. I mean, personally, I think they're all good. Anyways, endless winter. You are it's essentially a worker placement game where you're going to different areas of the board. And you are trying to make winter end worker placement deck builder worker placement deck builder have you heard of it it's endless that's actually a good one thank you jeff that or you just set me in up. the winter what is something that you need warmth heat mm. pedal to the metal the next game <laughs> okay because you go. get really cold in the winter and so what do you need you need some heat Pedal to the metal. You want to crank up that bad boy. Okay, Heat is a racing game. Now, there might even be a winter track. I actually don't remember. I don't think that there is. There might but be there winter might, weather. There might. There is weather. I don't, know if there's, is weather. I don't know if there's snow, though. There's rain. Ice. Ice, baby. Okay? <laughs> heat is something that we all need in the winter because if you don't have heat, guess what? You freeze to death and nobody wants that. So Heat, Pedal to the Metal is a racing game. Number one, I love racing games. We all know this. Number two, I'm very, very fast. Uh, and you need to be fast in the winter so that you can outrun the snow, get into your house, and get some heat. Jeff, when you go out into the snow, when you go to sh uh, snow below the driveway, sure. What, what have you got going on? Like what snowsuit. You, yeah. Do you do anything in this area? Balaclava. Or baklava. Balaclava. Baklava is dessert. Baklava is dessert. You wear a mask. Mask men is the next recommendation. Oh. <laughs> okay, because, Jeff, you have to cover up your face, don't okay, you? Okay, but in Mask Men, it's, so it's luchadors. Well, they don't have winter, but if they were here, they do. In Canada, they just don't have cold, snowy well, winters. Well, if they had this kind of winter, they'd be wearing their luchador masks. Maybe to stay warm, to get some heat. Now, Mask Men is an oink game. We love oink games. I don't think they have a winter-themed game. They should. Anyways, in Masked Men, it's essentially like a ranking trick-taking game. You're mm -hmm. trying to, like, figure out which luchador is the strongest of them all by playing out, like, essentially tricks. But the trump suit is always changing. It's an evolving trump suit. It doesn't really matter what the game is about. Yeah. What is important... Of course not. ...is that you wear a mask when it's cold outside. Protect your that face. That's good advice. Protect your face. As okay. accurate, solid advice. Okay. It's cold. Sure. What happens... When you get a little bit of hot chocolate and you're out in the cold. Steam. Steam is the next recommendation. Steam is a train game by Martin Wallace, which is a game that I first looked at and I was like, this is not a game for me. But Jeff and I, we've said it once, Jeff, how many times have we said it? Over and over again. What do trains make you think of? The winter. They do. Right? What yeah, is it's maybe that's because fair. of the Polar Express? I don't know, but I don't know when I see a train, I think winter so every time. Exactly. So you want to play train games in the winter, and because this one is making steam like hot stuff does in the cold air, then this is the perfect train game. And you're just building out routes and you're trying to it's kind of like area control a little bit. I played it totally wrong. I was cheating when I played by accident. Yeah. I was like, I am crushing this. And then we realized that I was not playing it right. <laughs> I was like, I, I don't rule. Get, I won't get into it, but yeah. Jamie, anyway. Jamie's rule breaking knew no bounds in that game. <laughs> I didn't know, though. I was, it was innocent. So that is my next recommendation. Or if you can't find Steam, because I think it's a bit of an older game, try another train game. Steam Up. Steam Up. We haven't played it yet, though. Oh, that's a great, great idea. What's a winter activity? Ice hockey. No, we talked about trick shot last year. This year, we're going skiing. 
in Super Slopes, which is a button shy game. So last year I talked about. I was like, what's this game? Last year I talked about Unsurmountable, which is where you're climbing up like a snowy mountain. This one, you are skiing down a snowy hill. Yeah, see, this makes sense. This makes perfect sense. It does. Exactly. Now, I personally don't ski because I, I can't get it straight. My ski is straight, you know? Mm -hmm. Anyways, this is a great game if you're looking for a button shy game and you're like, I need a winter theme. I've tried Unsurmountable. What's next? And you can play it solo or you can play with up to three. And it's very fun. I played it by myself the other day. When you are in winter and you're eating, mm -hmm. ooh, what do you want to eat? Chili. Nope. Damn it. I thought you were going to be like, oh, I'm cold and chili. No. We, there is Stew. No no, that's a fall food. We've been over that that's true. last recommendation video. Uh, um, you want something that's a little spicy and sweet. Sweet and spicy is the next recommendation. <laughs> I was sweet. <laughs> that's spicy. Not... And you got it. You got there. Sweet and spicy is a card game that is based off of the original game Spicy. But like personally, I don't like just spicy. I need something a little sweet and spicy, okay? There's cats all over the cards. Cats like to get cozy in the winter time. Is this a trick taking like game? Like Thai chili bites. Yes, very sweet. winter. A little spicy. I don't want spicy food in the summer because it just makes you so hot. I want spicy food year round. That's true for you, but not for me. I'd rather have it in the winter. Now, sweet and spicy is a card game where you're, it's kind of like bluffing. You're like, I have, Mm. Uh, pepper seven or something and somebody else has to be like oh I don't believe you and you're like you're right it was salt it was salt all along yep. so it's kind of like a bluffing game I think mm -hmm. I said trick taking before but it's not it's bluffing and it's super it's fun it's super cute set collection -y. set collection -y. Yeah. For sure. But the point is, that's what you want to eat in the winter. And because I would be remiss if I didn't say this game, what kind of dog do we have? Husky. Yeah. Snowtails. Snowtails. Nailed it. Right? It's another racing game, like Heat, but this one is set in the winter, and it has huskies pulling dog sleds. Dog it sled, yeah. might be the weirdest racing game we've ever played. It's one of the most unique in terms of the way things move. Right? Yeah, in the terms of the way things move. But you know what? You know what else is weird? Is the way people move in winter on ice. Because you're kind of like, ooh. Kind of like slide sliding, you slide. Exactly. So snow tails, highly recommend if you like huskies, which I do. And running into trees. Yeah, exactly. I have two left and both are good recommendations. What color do you think of when you think of winter? White. Exactly. Snow white color. castle. To shade. That is a Devere game. White color. castle. And it's set in the winter. Is it? I think so. <laughs> I Isn't it? I don't know if that's accurate. I think that it is. <laughs> okay. Isn't it? I have no There's idea. There's snow on the cover. I don't remember. It used to be up there, but now it's not anymore. It might be somewhere else. So the point is, in the White Castle, you it's worker placement-esque. You're putting out your workers, worker and then you are doing different actions to build up your castle. You're trying to uh, get your Thank family <laughs> um, kind of promoted through this... Um, key other family that exists you you're basically mm -hmm. trying to build up your family's like climbing the ranks yeah basically. which is exactly what you want to do you're in the recruiting winter. different like you need to be on samurais top. and yep. workers and yep you want to be on top in the winter trying to build out your family's you don't want to be on the bottom okay because the people on the bottom are cold you're like you're trying to get to the top of the like the tower of the tower yeah. Yeah. last but not least I don't know about you, but some kids like to play hooky in the summertime. This isn't hooky. Some kids like to play hooky in the wintertime because who's doing work in the winter? It would be funny if you always had one game you, per <laughs> you just picked in every, every video. I could. <laughs> I could do Stardew funny. Valley for that one, that honestly. This game is called Tales from the Loop. What? Because it's set in the winter. There's snow on the cover. Oh, ta oh! I I was getting it confused with um. Look how loud you were. I was getting it confused with the one where you put the things in the middle. The loop. The loop. <laughs> no, Tales from the Loop is based off of an RPG. It's set in the '80s, where these kids they're Sweden. going to school and they're skipping school. Sweden. And I think you skip Sweden. school in the winter. Sweden. Sure, I think you skip school in the winter because it's well. 
Here's a fun fact. I don't know if that's true. In university, I definitely skipped classes like all winter. That was more so because you didn't you want to walk, walk to class. To class? Yeah. No, thank you. I think these kids are walking to class because they're skipping, okay? And everything's set in the winter and it's very vibey. And I don't know about you, but like They're also these, not skipping school. These days. They go to school. These days? In the game. Jeff, these days. Ugh, winter, right? It's but actually not that bad. In There's the no 80s and the 90s, like winter was such a thing. It was a Why? vibe. What? Because the snowsuits were on point, and like that's when people were like crazy carpeting, and you had GTs, and everybody was that's so actually excited true. to have GTs. There was what do way kids more. even do now? They're there was, like, ugh. There was way more snow Snowboard. back then, and more kids like dinking around on the hills and stuff. That's true. And we were all dinking around on the hills. That's true. We had three GTs, we had a flying saucer circle, and we had a toboggan. We didn't have GTs. We had crazy carpets. We had crazy carpets. We had three GTs. We didn't have the we money. We were flush with GTs. We didn't have the money for the GTs. Mm. We had crazy carpets. Jeff and had a crazy carpet. I think we had one saucer. Mm hmm. Those saucers were death traps, though. But that's what I'm saying. When you think of the winter in its prime, we're thinking like 80s and 90s. The 90s winter? 90s I winter? I would have been, I would have been doing two things all winter. I was either on the pond skating, playing hockey. Yep. Trick or shot. I was um, at my neighbor's, like my grandparents' hill, sledding. Sledding. All winter. That's all I did. Exactly. Now, is there sledding in this game? I don't think so. No. But that doesn't matter because I, be think, the I think there's a sled item. Possible. You should probably try it just to figure yeah. it out. I have one honorable mention me. um, because it's for the holiday season. Jeff hasn't played this game, but I just played it. It's called Santa's Workshop. Mm. Okay. You can't. Again. When a, else are you going to play it? That's a normal. Besides the winter. It's a normal recommendation. So those are all of my recommendations for this season. This one wasn't quite as nonsense as normal. Okay, I'll tell you some of my short list. Oh Abandon all artichokes because they go bad in the winter. <laughs> okay. Back to the future, back in time, because I wish that I could go back in time when it wasn't winter. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um, I also had I like London that. because it gets cold in London during the winter. <laughs> Artichoke one was good. I don't know why I put this one, Dro Poulter, because... The bells. The Friday the Christmas Maybe bells. Maybe that's what it was. I was trying to figure it out. And then I also had Can't Stop. Dro Poulter does remind me of little crappy trinkets you would get at Christmas. Right? A hundred percent. Exactly. Yeah. Dro Poulter is the components in that game are like the garbage that's left over after everyone opens their cards and presents. And it's stuff. like, you know how everybody like, here's has, a piece of ribbon. <laughs> everyone has that like aunt or uncle. Or grandma. That makes them something. That like goes to the dollar store and buys all these trinkets. Here's this craft. <laughs> and, and they're like, here you go. Yeah, and you're like, do you even know me at all? That's Drill Poulter. That's Drill Poulter. And it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. Anyways, those are my recommendations for the winter. Jeff agrees. All amazing. Um, and all make perfect sense. I tried to go 50-50 this time. That wasn't, yeah. That wasn't as, yeah. Well, because some people may be coming here for real recommendations. <laughs> I hope not. I think that they're all real, but you know. Mm. Anyways, that is everything that we have for you today. Love to know in the comments below what are some games that you recommend to play for the winter. The weirder, the better. But that is everything we have for you today. Now, if you're interested in board games, like any of the many that we mentioned today, you should first start by checking your friendly local gaming store. And for us, that is... The Boardroom Game Cafe. They are open during the winter. They FYI, are. they serve lots of hot beverages. Hot dips. Hot dips. Mm -hmm. oh, Something man. a little sweet and spicy, I their bet they food, got on their menu. Their food is so good. It really is. Do you like snacks, speaking of I food? I want to go eat some of their food. Sure. Do you like snacks? I do. Where do people get snacks? Munchpack. Munchpack, exactly. Now, if you like us and if you like what you see... Please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon, and now we say goodbye. Goodbye! There it is. you got sure. a drip in your mustache. I know. Oh, drip stash, we call them. Anyways, that was the first one. That was rude. Yes, you're right. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah. How many of these do you have? I don't know, like 11. You always show me these little Stay like, warm. loops that I never... I didn't think it was that far fetched to say, if you like us, you just <coughs> say, please subscribe. Sure. I've set you up for it like three times. I thought maybe by now you'd get it. Can you move this? Because I'm going to film a video by myself without you. Okay. Have fun. I will.